Hi everybody, it's Andrew from Launch27 and I just wanted to give a, a quick demo video on some new enhancements that we've made to the booking scheduler. Now, right now it's still in beta, so you're going to have to use a special URL to access it in your account. And um, so I'll just get right into it. The biggest thing we've done is that we now let you see the teams plotted on the, the calendar view directly. And that was a big problem for a lot of people. Um, they just wanted to be able to see the team so that they can get a, uh, a complete picture of what's going on. So before it used to look like this, but now you have two different views. You have a vertical view where the teams are listed uh, like this from left to right. And then there's a horizontal view where the teams are listed from top to bottom and then the times go from left to right. So, um, what else? Let me see. So one thing you can do is um, you can drag this to assign it. Here's a booking. This is a, right here is the list of um, unassigned bookings. And if you can remember before, we used to have this list of teams. Now this thing is uh, you can hide it and show it, show it, hide it, whatever like that. So to save you some space so that you can uh, have as much room as possible. And if you want to click here to look at the details, you can do that. Um, so I'm just going to drag this and assign it to uh, to somebody here. Um, wanted to go over this real quick. So right here, um, because we allowed you to set your team's availability in Launch 27, we show the ones that are available with a green background and the ones that have a pink background or who are not available during those times. Um, the ones with like a blue background are the ones where you didn't set up your availability for that team yet. So I'm just going to drag this over and assign it to uh, Batman. And uh, you'll see here that it looks really small because we didn't set the duration yet. If you click on it, you'll see that there's the duration hasn't been set yet. It just says it starts at 2.30 to 3.30. And uh, one other complaint that a lot of people had was they couldn't um, change the duration by dragging and dropping. So we made that possible. So just you can just drag it like that and uh, drag it out like that. And you'll see that uh, a little message here that says the duration was saved. You click that and you can see that it's now three hours. Uh, another thing you can do is. Um, so if I switch back here, you can see the duration is like that. Um, Another thing you can do is you can drag it to assign it to another person at the same time. So if I want to assign it to also the, the beast team, now you see that it's uh, assigned to both of them. Another thing you can do right here is jump to another date into the future just by picking which one you want. Like if I want to go two days ahead, I can do that. Uh, before it was kind of really inconvenient where you had to go through one by one and uh, all the way down for the whole thing. But now I can just jump to uh, whatever day I want. The only other small thing that we did um, was uh, now when you're on the map view, you can actually see uh, the service time on here. When you hover over the map marker, uh, you can see right here. Um, it's at the very beginning of the, of the sentence that shows um, and pretty much that's it. Like this is not going to be the last of the improvements we make to the scheduler or to the um, the whole the whole scheduling experience actually in Launch 27. This is just uh, some of the stuff that we've been had we had on our backlog and um, we've been trying to get you know get this stuff out as soon as possible. And um, what I would like for you guys to do is uh, try it out when you're working. Uh, use this new scheduler, and we're probably going to make the switch over to the. Um, Right here, you can see that the main link is actually pointing to the old scheduler. It still looks like this, but the, the new scheduler will still let you have that old view if you want, um, in addition to the view with the teams on it. So if you just click on normal, it'll go back to normal. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for your time and uh, please let us know what you think. Thanks.